Welcome to a new episode of Delphine Circle, where we uncover the mind, body, and spirit of success. Subscribe now for free to receive updates on the latest interviews. Then sit back, relax, and tune in. Exciting! Today we're coming to you from On Cue Style. We're here with Kristen Prosser, the president and owner of the Luxury Lifestyle Resale Boutique. So happy to be here, Kristen. So excited to be here with you. And I'm happy to have you joining the Delphine Circle family as our fashion correspondent. Thank you. You will be dressing me, styling me for the upcoming shows. And right. tell me a little bit about what you picked out for me today. Today, uh, I like this look on you because it's casual and it's chic at the same time. So, And it's easy to wear and you're comfortable when you're in front of the camera too to do things. So we choose um, March dress with uh, like a leopard print. Lots of print this season that I love. And we have some amazing jewelry, the earrings, and the necklace is from Julia Post that we love. We love her jewelry here. We, sell we love quite Julia a lot. and we, we love her jewelry. Yes. And Yay. we sell quite some of her jewelry here. So that's great too. And the shoes you're wearing, it's a Kate Spade, but it matches the dress perfect because it picks up like the little of the leopard brown in it and the gold too. I'm it's so obsessed just with these amazing. shoes. Oh, these, so... these are going to have to come home with me. I'm sorry. These. It's so pretty. <sighs> I really like well, them. Well, and the color is like a little bit brown and a little yeah. bit gray. Like, I don't have anything this color. I'm so happy and they're very comfortable. So, I can see this is going to be uh, scary for me coming in here. Pretty <laughs> and week. comfortable is two good things. Yes, absolutely. It is. Okay, so you have to tell me. You've had your store here for 12 years. Mm -hmm. I mean consignment is bigger now than ever, and you were obviously ahead of the game. Why is it that resale has taken off and, and become such a popular trend now in fashion? I think from the beginning, we opened up, I think it was 2009, and we started opening up to two, 2010, we really got opened up. But it was really like the downside at that time. Mm -hmm. So I think we opened up in a perfect economic time because lots of people um, lost their money that time. And lots of women, especially in Newport Beach, still wanted to keep their look up. Mm -hmm. So it was a good way for them to come in and sell the old things mm -hmm. and get new things at the same time. So because just because you get a piece in a consignment store doesn't mean that it's we really particular to what we're taking in. So, so it has to be not older than five years old, except Chanel. Chanel, we do vintage. Yeah. Because I even think that some of the vintage pieces is more amazing. So when we opened up, people started coming in and that was actually the way I met Julia because Julia was selling her house and she had, I'm not even going into how much she had to get rid of. So <laughs> if we all know that, then I would know Julia. So she's a fashion queen. So she, sure she is. definitely is. But lots of people like that. So, so I'm not saying that she needed to do it. I'm just saying like random people did come in and consigned yeah. the old things and then they bought new things from the beginning. And when we actually started this business, I was a stylist before that and I worked with Donna Karen before that too. We opened up just a little part, like 1,000 square feet. Now we have 3,000 square mm. feet. So we really grew under the years and now we are known and we even had like a really great write-up for a couple of years ago in Forbes magazine, oh. what was really an honor to get. So, wow. so it's, it, it's been a fun journey, 12 years. Well, what I, I love about it is, and, and you know, I grew up in LA, I was a thrift store shopper from way back. Mm. Um, but you know, in the old days, you didn't really talk about no, it. No. And now, you know, I was at a girl's luncheon and they were like, oh, I got this at On Cue Style. And I was thinking, you know, I love that now it's like come full circle where people are excited exactly. to talk about exactly. consignment store shopping. And, you know, the reality of our world is that we we have to be more thoughtful mm -hmm. about the waste, right? So the idea that we're continuing to reuse things, I think is an awesome mm -hmm. idea. And quite frankly, it's a cost-effective idea it as is. well. And, and just because you don't want to wear it anymore, that doesn't mean that somebody else would not be excited to wear exactly. it. So, and also like in all like the Harper's Bazaar, Vogue magazine, they're writing about it. So it's like a trend now to, to it's actually like hip to go to a consignment store and see what you find. And we get we get shipped from different places too. So we only we don't only get places from clients around here. Mm -hmm. We really get from everywhere. Wow. And you know, lots of people, maybe not right now, but lots of people travel a lot. And you know, yeah. when you're traveling, you love shopping. So you shop different places mm -hmm. out there. 
So it's so that's why we get so many different things in that. Yeah. And you know, like in Europe, they have different things than they have here. So true. And then somebody been shopping there, or maybe there's a runway piece that I will never forget one. Uh, it was like evening right before closing. We had like a dress in the window. It was a cavalli dress. And this couple were on her way to a black tie. And she literally make her driver like stop outside the store. And she runs in and she was like, the dress in the window there, I want it. So don't <laughs> sell it to anybody. I've been looking for it everywhere. So it was like a runway piece. Yeah. Like there maybe just were five or six of them. And she was getting remarried in St. Bart's. So, so it was like perfect. It was too small for her, but she had a tailor and she just made it work because, and she was saying, I've been looking for like six months for this dress. So I can't believe when she was coming in her beautiful gown from How running funny. in. So, oh my um, God. so lots of things like that. It's so it, it's it's really just a fun business. Yes. I and know. lots of things is never used when we get it to, so you still have the price tags on it. Mm -hmm. And lots of people they if they use it on Instagram or photography or whatever they're doing a spread in a magazine, then they really never use it again. Mm -hmm. And it comes here. So it's it's fun. Great finds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now you've you, you Born in Denmark. Born in Denmark. You've been in the fashion business most of your life. Yeah. Tell me about some yeah. of the other positions yeah. you've held. So, um, in um, I did live both in Denmark and I, for a while I did live both in Sweden, Spain, and here. And I was trying to figure out something to do. And my background is fashion designer. So, and I between that I was actually a nurse in Sweden too. So, so completely different. I wanted to be a midwife for a while. So. I'm like, I, I change fast. I've been doing lots of different things. Renaissance but woman. Fashion has always been a really, really a passion for me. So when I was a little girl, I designed my own clothes. I designed my clothes for my dolls, things like that. And in Spain, I worked like, uh, I started my own business together with a, a friend of mine. And we started designing mostly like cruise wear. When you, because we were living in a, well, it's summer, it's most of the time, like here in California, mm -hmm. in Marbella. So... And um, then I arrived here and I was married. My husband was Swedish at the time and we decided to divorce. So I married Eddie. I've been married for 20 years, by the way. And I, I needed to start doing something here. So I started working for Donna Karen. And I ended up being uh, the VIP manager. So I dealt with celebrities and I did do the helped doing the buy together with Stuart Winston that I absolutely adore. And now was that at a South Coast Plaza? Yeah, I worked oh, okay. at South Coast mm -hmm. Plaza. So, and it was actually quite funny because when, I don't mind to sign snobby or anything, but when I started there, one of my girlfriends, she's from Sweden too, she worked at the Chanel store and I shopped from her. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you have a salesperson you really like, then you follow that person mm -hmm. wherever she goes. And so she started at Donna Karen after that. And I just absolutely loved Donna Karen's clothes. Mm -hmm. And they offered me after a while a part-time position. And I was like, oh, I don't know. They worked on hourly and it was like really low hourly. So I was like thinking, oh my God, I can't even buy a lunch. For what I worked like three, four hours. But what they offered me then to, to take the job, I got the allowance to get clothes. Oh, and I was like, Hmm. Well, this will work. <laughs> That's a really good idea. I can work yeah. for clothes. Yeah. So I don't need to, <laughs> the hour. No, I just a big race. Right? <laughs> and then when I got to be, because I did go to lots of charity events, uh, I got to be the VIP sales manager. Then they, I actually got a lounge for gowns too. Hmm. So, of course, I loved my job. Yes, yes. And I got to go to New York and, and did a couple of things with Donna Karen herself and uh, help buying in. So it was like, I so really, really enjoyed that job. People you got to work yeah, with. Yeah, it, it's yeah, it was. It was lots of fun. So Kate Blanchett was one mm, of my clients that I absolutely Kate. adore. Yeah, and uh, she was in the store, and she was always so sweet and nice. So, so she did modeling for Donna Karen. So she had she got amount of money, and then she got amount of allowance too. And she was always so sweet. She was always thinking about her mom. Her mom Aww. was always first. She she had to have something for her mom. So really. Um, Amazing, amazing. I love that. Got invited to go to her movie premieres and stuff like that. So it was lots of fun. Oh, great. Yeah. yeah. I enjoyed it. And I remember Raquel Welch might have been Raquel one of Welch was one of my clients too. She's that, one of my idols. Oh, my, oh my God. God. She is so sweet. Flawless, timeless. She yeah. is so sweet. So I mostly just shipped things when we got in something new. I shipped it to her. And it was so funny. One day out of the blue, the phone was ringing in the store and 
the manager come running out and says to kiss them, kiss them. Raquel Wells want to talk to you. And I was like, I've, honestly, I just think I was going to die. <laughs> Because she, she, is so, me. she is so perfect. She, she is so beautiful. Her, yeah. And she could not be sweeter. So she, she just to give out the book. So she wanted to send me a book and a picture with her autograph. What was really, really nice. And then I actually dressed her for um, the um, candlelight. Mm. And I was going to the candlelight too. So I got to meet her there. Mm. So I take pictures with her. And Eddie was like in heaven because he got... To take a picture just them too. So <laughs> he loved that. So no, she's super I sweet. Bet. So, yeah. yeah, who wouldn't? So in 2010, you also got cast as a lead role in mm-hmm. the Danish Hollywood Wives. Wives. Try not to call them housewives. Yeah. <laughs> Danish Hollywood Wives. Um, oh my gosh. Tell me a little bit about that experience being a reality TV star. And it aired in Sweden, Denmark, and, and Norway, Norway, right? Yeah. yeah, it did. So it was really fun and and you know, I, I grew up in a really tiny city in Denmark. So, and it, it's so funny because even I've always been a little different to to my friends. So, I don't think that was the, I was the most popular girl in school because I was different and I always dressed different. Like I said, I was always into fashion. Yeah. So, so it felt really special because you know some of the people that was not nice to me <laughs> still lives there. So I was like, okay, look Guess at me. Guess who's popular now? Yes. <laughs> Look at me, who lives in California now, Spain before that, yeah, and yeah. so so it, it was lots of fun. We were the first season. We were four women that did it, and what they do, they um, follow you around here too. So some women that are some kind of successful uh, in this country, and they want to show how you live here because you know to compare to both Denmark, Sweden, and Norway, it's just like like night and day. It's like really really different. Things special in Newport Beach, we live in a little bubble here. So, but special here, like things we take for granted. So you have nice car, you have nice jewelry, you mm. do Botox, you do all of that. Mm. So you don't do that the same mm. way there. And it's, it's just really, really different. So, well, so it, in a lot of Europe, it's kind of like it's considered poor taste to, to be ostentatious oh, yeah. about your wealth oh, yeah. or, you know. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And and special at that time, I I remember how because they wanted to go with me when I did my Botox, and I was like thinking, hmm, I know I'm going to be slammed for this, <laughs> <laughs> because that's now much more people doing it yeah, now, yeah. but not 2010. So I was like, I was a little hesitating mm. because I didn't really, you know, I'm still like Danish, so, so I don't want to to be like. American, not taste anything yeah, you wrong. You still want to be able to go home. <laughs> I mean, yes. And and I still wanted to be the girl mm-hmm. from Denmark. So, yeah. so, especially when I go there, because again, like you're saying, lots of people get offended about it a little. Mm-hmm. So, oh, does he, or is he breaking now? Or is he doing mm-hmm. this? Or, or and, and they really wanted to bring all that out. Mm-hmm. And of course, that's what the show was about. Yeah. So, but I still only had really positive feedbacks from it. So, so it's, it had been fun. It's still fun the day when I go back to Denmark now, people recognize. And the funny thing is, too, when they do a show, they don't show it once. They show it year after oh, year after okay. year. So they're still <laughs> showing it. So it's like... Well, the good news is you're not getting any older on the show. <laughs> yeah, of course not. That's what people are saying to me. God, don't even recognize you any longer. So what have you been doing? And I'm really open with everything I'm yeah, doing. Yeah, so That's good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, gosh. So... Kirsten, anybody that knows you knows what an incredibly devoted family person you are. Devoted mom, wife of Mm -hmm. Eddie. You guys are inseparable. Work together, 20 years together. And Eddie's just a hoot. We love him. He is. And your two daughters, you've got two stepsons, and you've got 11 grandchildren. Mm -hmm. I think about how busy you are at work, and I think about that. How do you manage that? How do you balance your life? It's crazy sometimes. It, it's crazy. I, I literally always are doing something, and I, I have a really busy social schedule too. Mm-hmm. So there's always something going, and my grandkids are, the youngest one is two, and the oldest one is nine. And you know, when they is 11, it's, it's like really hard sometimes to get mm-hmm. to see everybody. So what we try to do, we try to do when it's like uh, something special. So uh, my daughter is really good at this. So she usually hosts something in her house. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we do potluck. And and 
it's easier to be in her house because she have all the toys. Mm-hmm. She have three kids. So. Set up for kids. Yes. So so it's easy. They can run around and they have so much fun when they get together. So, And then we do pool party. And right now we actually, and the reason is my grandkids a lot, we're building a house in the desert. So I can have them coming out. So it's just, I'm egoistic thinking too, because if I have that house with pool and everything, yeah. then they want, they call me more and more. They can't call me grandmother because I'm not a grandmother. More, so. more, <laughs> more, more. It's more, the mom's mom. More, oh, M O R M O R. So it's more, more. Yeah. It doesn't sound like that old. Then, yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> not that I'm that old. I'm not. So, but so it's it, and it's it's so cute. You know, when you see this come running over, I want a hug from you, and and they call more, more. So you, your heart just melts. But I I do work a lot. I worked six days a week before, but I cut it down to five days. And I love working. So so that's, it's it's hard for me if I'm not in the store too many days because I'm always wondering, so, okay, who's coming in today? What are they buying? What are they selling? <gasps> they sold that bag. Oh, I love that. So, you know, things like that. So, so I'm like so involved with it. And um, so most of my time, it's the store going out for dinner with friends and my grandkids. Yeah. I do get my gym in, so, but... Yeah, got to just figure it out. Yeah, sometimes I, I feel like, some, you, sometimes you get tired when it's like really intense in the store. Mm-hmm. And so my downtime, I love looking at Netflix. I think everybody loves Netflix, yeah. right? So the best thing, and I like lots of, there actually lots of Danish and Swedish movies and shows on the... Really? Yeah, that I, 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 so I try to follow that. So, so that's always fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is a lot on Netflix. So that's my downtime. So I don't answer the phone. If somebody calls me in the evening, most of the time you can text me and I will answer your text, but I will not talk on the phone. Yeah, that's your time for your home yeah. for yourself. Mm-hmm. I love exactly, that. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about fashion. Coming out of the pandemic, things changed dramatically. Mm-hmm. We all got so casual. I remember going into Neiman Marcus to try to find a pair of heels <laughs> for something, and I was in shock that they had no heels. Everything was a slide or a tennis shoe yeah. or something. Um, and I get it. You know, they were trying to sell to their market. But what do you think? I mean, coming out of this, are we going to stay so casual, or do you see things kind of no. maybe going I, back to I definitely see, Yeah, I definitely see it coming back. So, and and. Woo-hoo. <laughs> it was like I was just talking to one of my employees. It, it's the question is like really like hard on me because I'm never casual. I'm really mm-hmm. never mm-hmm. casual, and I've never been like super casual yeah, in my I didn't life. Her sweats when the pandemic right? started. I was like, I don't really know what to wear. No. I was wearing my Lulus, but that's not very comfortable around the house all the time. No, <laughs> no. So yeah, I actually did wear. I, I probably did wear my gym clothes. Mm-hmm. What I did wear when I had to be home, but. So I think it's, it's, it's what I, I definitely think fashion is taking off. And I think it's actually getting, this season is quite glamorous. Really? I would say, like, look at Versace mm. and all the colors they're having in. So it's lots of colors, lots of print, mm. lots of bright colors. I think lots of people are fed a little down because of mm-hmm. all that. And I see that in the store too. So many people come in in workout clothes. Thank God that there's so many cute workout clothes nowadays. Yeah, that's true. So, you know, and if you go to Fashion Island, you see all the stores that there's so many workout stores. Yeah. Right? Alu just opened a new one. Fab yes. just opened a new one. Yeah. It's like one after the next when you're walking yeah. over there. So, and I still feel it's a little hard when you go into stores to find. I think shoes are, they, it start, definitely start coming back, the heels okay. again. I, I feel that. But, you know, it, it's lots of sneakers, lots of booties and boots that I personally mm-hmm. love, so I'm really happy yeah. that that's... But they make it trendy and fun. So I definitely think that the glam is coming back to a certain part. But, you know, what I also do, like Chanel, do like the cutest sweatshirts, $8,000 or something <laughs> now. So even the fashion houses are going a little more casual, yeah. but it's still like high-end. And like Dior, they do the, the prints and the monogram prints, and they do it like in shorts and stuff like that. So they, they do it casual, but still with a, a glam factor around it. So yes. I do like that. So. Yeah, I agree. No, I agree. I know that uh, handbags are such a huge part of your business. And I mean, I love handbags. I think we all love handbags, yes. right? Handbags. And I shoes. come in here and I just drool on the glass if there's it's a little so mark, she'll understand why. 
Um, here is a perfect, gorgeous display. Mm -hmm. um, how do people know when they're purchasing a handbag that it is, in fact, an authentic mm -hmm. bag? That's a really good question because there is lots of fake out there. Mm -hmm. And I, I have some horrible stories with people have been coming in trying to sell fake bags mm -hmm. too, and they had no idea mm -hmm. about it's fake. We had one client, she had like, she, she's a decorator up in LA and she did at a rapper's house. Mm -hmm. Can't mention any names. But she did, and I honestly don't think that he knew either, but she had six bags. So it was a part of the payment for her job. Oh. So she was really excited because she knew that she could get, yeah. could, especially like Hermes, you know, Hermes, number one, is hard to get. And and you get get good money for them. Yeah. And sometimes so, resale, you, you get more you, than you, you, what you oh, would yes, pay for. No, you, yeah. With special Hermes, you definitely pay more than if you can get them in the stores. Mm -hmm. You do. But so we had to, so what we do, we had two authenticators in the stores. And so we had to tell her that all six of them were fake. So, and, and, you know, she put out lots of her money for, for what mm. she did and time for what she did for this person. So she literally did break down on the floor in the showroom. Oh. It was like so sad. All six of them were fake. Mm. And some people come in and try to sell fake bags and they know it's fake too. Mm. So I think when you, you have to, number one, you have to buy from a reseller that you know you can trust. For sure. And I think uh, we here at Uncle Style definitely have proved that under the years. So, mm -hmm. so... I would be horrified if I would ever sell a fake bag. Right. And let us say it would slip through me, it would happen. So, so I, I, of course, I would take it back. Right, so, right, right. so, but you have to be so careful. So, what I would do before I go out shop, I will research on the reseller first. I will Google if there is in it like a Hermes bag, what you should look for to see the fake, mm -hmm. because it's, it's, if you know what to look for, and I know some of them are really, really good, so it's not easy all the time. Mm -hmm. But the smell, the zipper, the stitching. So there's lots of things that I would Google if I'm going to buy a bag from a reseller. I don't know if I buy it online. Then I would, again, I would definitely do the research on the person that is selling it. Well, I'm just going to buy it from here and that way I know oh, for sure. Thank you. Love we're, that, we're, so. We know what we're doing. Um, okay, you got to give us an idea. Spring, summer is coming down, 2022. What do you what do you love? What do you see coming out for spring, summer that you think is really colors, colors, okay. colors. Even if I any need specific a... colors, it is bright pink, it's bright yellow, it's green, it's blues. So like neon or yes. just no, no, just really bright. Just bright. Okay. Yeah, and of course, then you have some of the, the um, like nude colors too, and there's lots of like Persian prints. Mm. Is that what you call it, Persian prints? Like. There's lots of prints this season. Okay. Lots of prints, lots of flowers. And um, what about the platforms? It? The platforms is back that I love. I love platforms. Since I'm not too. so tall. So, yeah. so I definitely love platforms. So, and, you know, I, th I think everybody did think that platforms is going to disappear. You know, for, for like a couple of years ago, it was really in. Gucci did like the amazing platforms, still do the amazing platforms. But so many people say, oh, no, don't buy any more platform because it's going to be out soon. But it's definitely in Versace, have some amazing platforms. Even Valentino is doing some amazing platforms. Well, it's probably time. like the transition back to heels, but it's still comfortable. Easier. Yeah, <laughs> it's because it's a little easier yeah, to walk in platforms. So. But sometimes, like the Louboutin, sometimes you can, it's really high, some of them. So you really have to plan it. And of course... Sneakers again, lots mm -hmm. of sneakers, but really cute sneakers. But I definitely see lots of colors and prints. Wow, awesome. Well, again, to make you happy. Yeah. After all this depression, There you go. Right? That's what we need. Mm -hmm. oh, it's all about being happy. I am so excited for you to give us a little tour, show us around, and uh, see some fun stuff. Yeah. Let us go. Let's, Let's see what go. we have.
right, Kristen. I, Chanel is my all-time favorite. I think we all love Chanel, right? I think we do too. This is spectacular. Please. This show is us amazing. This. this is really amazing. So this is the Chanel 19. You see, it's not so structured. This is actually shielding. Oh my gosh. How cute. And look at that. Beautiful. Match my nails, by the way. So, but how cute. And what I really like with the 19 too, do you see the different metal? Oh, yeah. How it changes. <gasps> Wow. It is just so great. Oh, I love On 19, this. Chanel 19 is honestly one of my favorite bags right now. It's just absolutely adorable, isn't it? Right? I love this. And it's like the perfect size, too. It right? is. It's it is. Not too big, not too small. No. It's got the little outside mm -hmm. compartment for your phone. You can put your phone in there, so. And it's just absolutely adorable. I love this one. Okay, give us it's an perfect. idea. How much is it? This little one, it's a special. It's a limited edition. It's 6495 mm -hmm. And I think we That's all. <laughs> yes, right. That's what I'm saying too. But you know what is great? This price is actually really good when you compare to the price increase Chanel have had. They had four last year, and I'm not really sure if they had one this year, but they're going to have one more. So, wow. I have one more piece I have to show you from okay. here. So, this is this necklace. This is just absolutely amazing. Oh, this is a runway piece, my gosh. and there is not a lot of them. But look at this. Is if you wear something really simple and then you wear this one, is oh, that just to die it. for? Beautiful. And the fun thing, and you see it has the CC here in the back too. Isn't just amazing? Yes. What is this? It's are these, pearls. Are these real pearls? No, I don't think it is. Yeah. It's, you know, it's just, just custom jewelry. Yeah. But you know, it doesn't matter. So right. this little thing here is $5,000. It's gorgeous. But look, it's so amazing. Yeah. But you're not going to, you're probably not going to find this anywhere. No. Because it's so unique, and they only did few of them. I but love this is it. So, this is amazing. You have so many. Cool I love finds. this. Absolutely beautiful. Now, what about Dior? Do you have any Dior? That's my other favorite designer. I'm obsessed with right now. I love Dior too. And Dior is doing. Dior is one of the ones they did like the more casual look to, to listen the funk and funky. So let me show you back here. So. So this is some of our duo, and the lady duo too is so pretty. But I want to show you this one here. So this is this is the thirty Montaigne. But look at the strap oh, too. Oh my gosh! Look at the strap. It's like a camera bag. It is. Yeah. Let me take this I away. I love this. But look at the strap. It's like this thick. So they make it a little more funky and fun. Isn't it cute? It is adorable. And just enough for your phone, your yeah. keys, and your yeah. lipstick. So this one is 2022. Oh, it's a good idea if we can open it up. Nobody's going to be stealing your money out of there anytime soon. Oh, we'll figure that out later. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And I love the navy. Navy is such a staple See? that fits into everybody's wardrobe. And that is the monogram. Love it's just, it. isn't it just adorable? Yes, yes, See? yes. Yeah, it even says oh. on the back there too. It's just so pretty. It is. This That's is like something you take on vacation because you can just wear yeah. it all day long when yeah. you're walking around. Yeah, you can do it casually, mm -hmm. you can dress it up. So that's what I love with this. So oh, this is this gorgeous. is like yeah, this is absolutely amazing. But look at all the doors in the look at the pattern over there too. All of them are like just so amazing. What about Lady Duo? Don't you love that too? Oh yeah. Especially the small one there, isn't that cute? And let me show you too. I actually have, oh, I should bring this over because I have the perfect outfit for this one. If you like monogram. Mm -hmm. And you know, that's what Dior does a lot. They put together monogram. Look at this. Oh so my again, gosh, so cute. this is a dress. Look how cute. Oh, how perfect. I love it. And talking With a about white the sneakers. Casual, this is casual a casual fashion. look, so yes. yeah. Exactly. And you see, it says Christian Dua down in the side, that's so super. So this is, again, the casual mm -hmm. look that we do. But how cute is this? It is so cute. Adorable. This dress, $2,995. And this is completely sold out. But look at the hoodie in the back, too. <laughs> I just love this. So, so This is so cute. cute. Is. Oh my gosh, and look at this. <sighs> Talking Again, about the sweatshirt? We're talking about the sweatshirt, and that's what they did too. So this is from the runway. So this is one of the pieces when I put it in a window. Yeah. Somebody would put the brakes on and run in and say, <laughs> Oh my God, I never got that sweatshirt. I have to have it. 
But just look at the just look at the details it. how it's oh, made. Wow. It looks like little flowers. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. little flowers. So beautiful. It is absolutely amazing. This is definitely Girl, one of Chanel. my favorites. Yeah, can't go wrong with that, right? And, and I you see know, you have a whole line of all the different designers. Designers, yeah. So people can shop specifically yes. to the designer yeah. that they love. And what is so neat too, so we really have, I'm always saying we have everything from like, you can find dresses here for $50. Mm -hmm. You can find a dress for $5,000. So there's like really everything. And you know, so we try to have like lots of young girls. Yeah. They want like a special dress, can come in. So you can literally get a whole outfit together for 100 to $150 for, and you can be perfect for that evening. I love it. And then what we actually started, we under the COVID time, so because you know how hard it was to find cute, fun things. Yes, it sure was. So we started with, uh, so this is like uh, jealous tomatoes and a couple of other lines that is like really inexpensive, so and but cute. super cute. Look at this, this. rumba again. I'm to try this one on. This looks so fun for summer. Exactly, bright colors yeah. and pattern. And this little thing here, this is $52. Are you kidding me? $52? Yeah. Wow. It's just, I think it's so cute. Okay, that might it be is. go home with me too. Right? See, it's dangerous to be out shopping. But oh, this, yes. and then we actually, a really special piece here I have to show you. Some of my jewelry. This is like really, really pretty. I saw you had a pair of Van Cleef earrings on, um, on your social media post and I was drooling. They were so gorgeous. Emerald green. Isn't it? Oh, Look at this. Oh gosh. Wow. Isn't it pretty? I actually have this in different colors too, so, but this is really you, pretty. That, that's a classic piece. That is a piece that a man should get his wife and never look back. And you know, that's what's so funny to me too, that people give it up when they have this, right? Yeah. Who would give this up? This is so pretty. Exactly. Well, I think that's the hardest part for me sometimes to so give up things. There's so things. That's the problem, right? It is. <laughs> but this is really, can never go wrong with Van Cleef and Appel. All right, but you don't only have women's wear, you also have men's mm -hmm. wear and accessories. Yes. Show us what you got. So again, oh, monogram is it. like so in right now, so that's really big. So so here's a Fendi shirt for men. Look oh, how cute. that is so cute. My son would die and go to heaven in that shirt. I'll Isn't it nice? Yes, yeah, so cute. Love and it. we have Dior sneakers, so we get okay, brand so new. The girl gets the, the bag and the dress and the, and the boy Guy gets matching the, with the sneakers. Aww, Again, the blue monogram. Go. How cute would that's that be? That's adorable. Super, super cute. So, and again, so what we don't have a lot of men stuff because men don't shop like the same way like women does. Yeah. So we try to be really particular what we take in for men. So, yeah. and we have like men that come in all the time. And sometimes we actually even have kids clothes. Mm -hmm. What is really cute. That's really dangerous. We had like this boutique that it gave us lots of Moschino, Versace, like designer kids clothes. Yeah. My grandkids are the best dressed. <laughs> I was about to say, with 11 grandkids, I'm sure they are. <laughs> They're best dressed ever. Yeah. Well, this is fun. You know fun. what? You got to show me uh, the loungewear because I love what you have going on right here. Oops, oh, sorry. <laughs> Talking about being comfy at home. I... I'm obsessed right now. Are you kidding and me? And look at the little shorts with it. So, oh, you right? have the shorts there, yeah. Oh How cute gosh, is that? I love it. But feel the quality. No. So this is so, a, so this soft. is again what we did under the COVID time. So we start taking in like casual but cute clothes, and the quality in this is like amazing. It's it so feels soft. Like butter, and I cannot believe. Am I reading this right? This is this set is sixty eight dollars. Yeah. Yeah. And we have that in different colors too. Look how cute this is too in the blue. If you don't like pink, not all girls are into pink like this I am. I love pink. Love, love, love. This Yay. is so pretty. And it comes with the long ones too. Oh my gosh. How great is oh. that? Oh, I love it. So you and see, you can still make it chic. Phone. Yes, you can still make it chic even if you're casual. That's awesome. So that's fun. Well, Kirsten, okay. thank you so much for letting us come here, showing thank us you. around, giving us the tour, and I'm looking forward to coming back for the next I hope show so. to get styled. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Delphine Circle. Don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it will help us keep these incredible interviews coming your way. Here are two other episodes you may enjoy. 
I'm Delphine. Welcome to my circle.